Nigeria, happy Independence Day and um, pray that the country will continue to go forward, overcome all its challenges and very soon become a nation. How has it been? 58 years ago, Nigeria became independent, meaning that the colonial masters stopped ruling us and um, we had the right to organize ourselves. And um, October 1st, 1960 had a lot of promise for Nigerians. But the question is, how has it been? We are not here to talk politics, so we leave that to the jury to decide. But there is a very important lesson, a very important inference that we need to try and draw from the Nigerian experience. And it's not peculiar to Nigeria. Almost all the nations that at one time or the other gain independence, whether they're in Africa or other parts of the globe, have had to deal with what Nigeria is dealing with. And it's so similar to what an entrepreneur has to deal with. If you've been here over the last couple of weeks, we started a series that we called Entrepreneurship Made Simple. We've covered a lot of things. But one thing that we want to draw on, particularly on this occasion of celebrating the Independence Day of Nigeria, is the fact that between the promise and the actualization, there is a whole lot that has to happen. A whole lot. When you look at countries that have succeeded with democracy, you realize that certain things are common to them consistently almost to the letter. One of it is that they had good constitutions. And these constitutions were written by their founding fathers who had clear vision, they were statesmen, they wanted something for the bigger good. And so, subsequent generations inherited those fundamentals and we look at them today and we wonder how they've done it. I tell my friends, if America was to write a constitution today, I'm not sure they will fare any better than Nigeria. The benefit that they have and the benefit that they have enjoyed is the fact that their founding fathers were real statesmen who were interested in building a nation as against satisfying personal interests. How does that affect you as an entrepreneur? Exactly the same thing. Remember what we said from the beginning. Are you trying to be self-employed or you are trying to be an entrepreneur? Which one? Because they are completely different. If you are trying to be self-employed, your interest is purely in how to make this money, how to buy that car, how to pay those bills, how to have that vacation. All you are worried about is here, now, here, now, you, 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 you. But when you are interested in being an entrepreneur, the same way we look at some countries today and some democracies today, and we are envious of how far they've come, you need to go beyond self-employment you need to start worrying about entrepreneurship. And then um, without sounding repetitive, if you have not watched any of those videos, I encourage you to go back and watch because all we are trying to do today is just to draw some relevant inferences and to construct some meaningful parallels. So, what does it take to build a nation? We've mentioned that constitution, rule of law, You've got institutions that are sustainable and you have people that are committed to running them and many other things that surround it. Same for the entrepreneur. There has to be a vision. What problem are you trying to solve? It is not just about having an uncle somewhere that is willing to give you a purchase order or having an opportunity to quickly make a quick supply. Entrepreneurship goes beyond chance and opportunity. It's about solving problem. And the bigger the problem you are trying to solve, the more the impact you are able to make and the, likely, the higher the likelihood of building something that will outlast you, something more sustainable. We've spoken about having clear values. The values that then drive the people that you are trying to bring in. 
We've spoken about building culture. Culture as a unique selling point that differentiates you from competition. We've spoken about the quality of your people. How do you attract them? The attitude they must have, how you must be ready to invest in them so that they can then build the necessary skills. We've spoken about building systems. It has been proven that over 70% of problems that exist in any institution, whether it's a company, it's a country, it's a group, they are process related. You need to build clear processes. And in building the clear processes, it is not just supposed to be rigid and casting concrete. It's supposed to be a flexible system that you can adjust the same way America talks about the First Amendment, the Second Amendment. You can adjust it and then it will suit you and meet the details of the situations that is confronting you from time to time. If your company, if your business will not become a failed state. Do you know what that means? Yes, a failed state. The same way some countries will get independence and after a number of years, they attempt failed states in which the center does not hold. You have different factions. This is difficult to recognize a government. There are no working systems. The people in that country are living like hostages and they are perpetually in war zones. If your own company will not become a failed dream, a failed idea, you need to deal with those things that we have identified. If you were here last week, what we did was to share with you stories of companies that at some point were very successful. We couldn't cover all the examples that we had for the sake of time. From Concord to Nokia to Kingsway to Blackberry to Lehman Brothers, just name them, national, local, international. There are companies that at some point thought that they were independent, but down the line they realized that if the foundational things are not taken care of, and there are no efforts to ensure that when you go through the stages of the organizational life cycle, when you reach your maturity level, you need to start worrying about creating a new path for yourself. Today, they are history. I saw a message on social media a couple of weeks ago, and I'm going to share it on the Telegram's channel. And it's a very interesting satire that talks about the fact that when people tell us about entrepreneurship, all they tell us is how we are going to become our own bosses. I am sure we have done more than that on this channel. You need to read it, but be aware that between here and there, between independence and becoming a nation, between having an idea and building an enterprise, there is a whole lot that goes on in between it and if you want to make a success of your own journey then you need to find out what it takes commit yourself to doing them acquire the discipline and the rigor that it takes to make it a way of life and then down the years down the line as we celebrate some countries today and people are willing to take a big risk to cross the mediterranean sea on impossible vehicles, all in the promise of getting to those countries, your organization too will be a destination brand that other companies want to do business with, that graduates want to work for, that even entrepreneurs want to pattern after simply because of the difference that you have made. So, I do not know what day is the Independence Day of your own country, but where we are in Nigeria, we are celebrating our 58th independence and we are using that opportunity to say between being a country and becoming a nation, between having an idea and building an enterprise, on Delight Channel, we will be happy to share with you all that we know, that we believe will help you to make that a reality and hopefully one of these days you will be on your way to living the dream and we shall be very happy to celebrate you and identify with your dream. 
Thanks for being here once again this week. This is where we are going to drop the curtain. And next week, we go back to our usual conversation where we are focusing on entrepreneurship made simple. Tim Mark is still my name. Don't ever forget that all I'm trying to do is what? Make a little difference. See you next week and happy independence, Nigeria.